Hi guys. Today I'm going to retell you a movie called The Ballad of Jack and Rose. The movie is set in 1986, when Scottish farmer Jack Levin is living with his daughter Rose on an island. Several decades ago, the island was a hippie commune, but now builders want to build houses here and settle with their families. Jack tries everything he can to keep the builders off the island. Rose, on the other hand, is a beautiful teenager who grew up isolated from the outside world after her mother left the family. Jack homeschooled Rose and took care of her. Jack has a heart condition and doesn't have much time left, so he tells Rose that they should hire someone to help them. But Rose doesn't want anyone else in their lives and angrily leaves. She runs to her treehouse and begins to cry. Jack follows her, telling Rose that she will have to live after he dies. But Rose replies that the day he dies will be her last day. To Rose, Jack is the only person in her life that she loves and is afraid of losing him. Without him, Rose will be completely alone, for she has no one in her life but Jack. After telling her the story, Jack leaves for a neighboring town, saying he has some work to do. Upon arriving in town, Jack goes to the home of a woman named Kathleen. She is Jack's girlfriend and they have been in a relationship for some time. Jack asks Kathleen to move into his house and live with him. He also tells her that she can take her two children with her to live with them. Kathleen accepts his request and asks if Rose knows about it, to which Jack replies that he will take care of her. Jack returns home and tells Rose that he has invited guests to stay with them for a while as an experiment. The next day, Kathleen arrives with her sons Taddeus and Rodney. Jack and Rose welcome them and help them get their things. But after seeing their luggage and belongings, Rose realizes that they are going to stay for a long time. Rose is concerned about the arrival of new faces and feels thrown out of her own home. Rose takes offense at Jack and leaves. Jack follows her and tries to talk, but Rose is angry with him because Jack has kept his relationship with Kathleen a secret. Jack explains that this is just an experiment and nothing more. If Rose starts to like Kathleen and her children, they can stay together. But if not, Jack asks them to leave. Later that day, Tadeus approaches Rose and asks her to show him nearby places where he can catch snakes. Rose takes him into the woods, and Tadeus sets a trap. He rolls up on her, but Rose doesn't like him. Later that evening, Rose returns home and heads to her room. On the way, she hears Jack and Kathleen laughing. Rose goes into the small room to peek at them and sees them making love in bed. She goes to her room, takes off her top and looks at her body. Rose becomes strangely jealous of Kathleen as she senses that Kathleen is stealing Jack from her. Rose goes downstairs, topless, and asks Ronnie to make love to her. She thinks that if she loses her innocence, Jack will love her again. Rodney is shocked by this and refuses to do it with her. He tries to reason with her, but Rose keeps pushing for it. Rodney politely refuses her. Instead, he gives Rose a new haircut. After the haircut, Rose grabs her gun and heads straight for her father's bedroom. Kathleen wakes up and is startled to see Rose pointing the gun at them. Rose freaks out and drops the gun, which accidentally misfires. Jack takes Rose to her room and is completely bewildered. But he soon forgets about the incident and thinks that she did it to scare Kathleen. However, Kathleen thinks that Rose has some psychological problems and suggests that Jack send Rose to a school for troubled children. But Jack gets upset about this and tells Kathleen that there is nothing wrong with Rose. All he wants is for Kathleen to take care of Rose after he dies. As time goes on, Rose Rodney becomes good friends. One day a man named Gray comes to their house and often delivers flowers to Rose and Jack. Later, Rose asks Gray to teach her how to kiss. Gray explains to Rose that her first kiss should be romantic and casual not planned. Rose tells him that he can kiss her romantically, but Gray refuses and leaves. One day, Rodney and Rose go to the docks to meet a friend of Bradbury's in-laws. Upon reaching the house, Rose shows Bradbury her treehouse, where they have fun all day. Later that night, Rose goes into the woods and finds a snake trapped by Tadeus. Rose decides to take it with her. While returning, Rose catches Bradbury and Tadeus making love in his car. And since Rose is turned down by Rodney and Gray, she decides to do it with Tadeus. She returns home and puts the snake under the bed. Later, Tadeus enters Rose's room, though he. She likes him. She lets him make love to her. From the vibration of the bed, the lock of the cage opens and the snake escapes. After Tadeus leaves, 
Rose checks her sheets, on which she finds bloodstains, and dances for joy. The next morning, as Jack chills outside, he sees that Rose has hung her bloodstained sheet in the front yard and has written that it is only an experiment. Jack is devastated to learn that his daughter is spoiled. Just when he is about to scold, Rose Kathleen screams loudly as she sees a snake in the bedroom. Jack tries to find the snake and get rid of it before it bites anyone. Meanwhile, Tadeus finds his cage under Rose's bed. Rose explains that she just wanted to scare Kathleen and nothing more. After dealing with the snake, Jack confronts Radius and gives him one day to move out for spoiling his daughter. Later that evening, Rose hosts a screening of a homemade movie about the hippie commune in his treehouse. While everyone is enjoying the movie, Tadeus tries to kiss Rose. Jack attacks him in a rage. During the scuffle, Rose pushes Tadeus, who falls out of the tree. Kathleen is angry with Rose and tells her to leave. Tadeus survives the fall and is rushed to the hospital. Rodney asks Rose to go with him and leave the island. But Rose politely refuses, saying that she cannot leave Jack not in his current situation. But Rose resents Jack for not having the courage to express his love and runs away. She goes to one of the apartment complexes to be alone. Jack waits several days for Rose to return home, but she does not. Jack gets tired of waiting and goes looking for Rose. He finds her in one of the apartment complexes and apologizes to her. He says he shouldn't have let the outside world in, but he was afraid there would be no one to take care of Rose after he dies. She says she doesn't want to see Kathleen again after what happened in the treehouse. Jack realizes that he will have to choose between his girlfriend and his daughter, so he leaves, saying he must take care of the deal. He returns home and offers Kathleen $10,000 and then $15 to move out. Kathleen agrees to leave for $20,000. Jack returns to the apartment complex and informs Rose that Kathleen is leaving. Rose is very happy about this news, because now the two of them are back together. Jack and Rose spend the night there as Kathleen leaves the next day. Jack lies down on the bed and Rose joins him. As they look at each other, Rose kisses Jack. He is shocked by this and cannot believe that his daughter is in love with him. He also blames himself for letting her kiss him and cries. The next morning, Jack wakes up and is still haunted by the memory of the kiss. He gets on a bulldozer and destroys the apartment complex. Later, he and Rose go to the home of real estate developer Marty Rance. Jack wants to tell him that he destroyed the apartment complex. But Marty says he can build it again with no problem. He also offers Jack a huge amount of money to buy his land. Jack breaks down as he has no strength left to fight and agrees to sell his land to Marty. Rose is upset by his decision and does not want Jack to give up. But Jack has made his decision as he wants Rose to have a future. Rose and Jack return home and see that Kathleen is gone. Jack is now very weak from his heart condition, and he doesn't have long to live. The next morning Rose wakes up and sees that Jack has died in his sleep. Since Rose had originally planned to kill herself after Jack's death, she lies down next to her father and sets fire to the house, but after a while she changes her mind and runs away. Two years later, Rose lives in Vermont and works in the greenhouse where Gray also works. She is gardening and living the life her father wanted. Thanks for watching and see you soon.